What's happening everybody? My name is Anthony Santana and welcome to Resident Evil The Director's Cut. Now I'm playing the non-American release, I'm playing the uncensored version. Why is it non-American that I'm playing and why is it uncensored? Because Capcom messed up on releasing the American version which was censored so I'm playing a different version. So anyways I'm gonna go straight for original. Also I don't know whose storyline is correct if it's Jill's or Chris's I think it's Chris's because well Jill is in it uh, Jill is in it for like the first five minutes and then she's gone until the rest of the game and for Jill Chris is gone for uh, the whole beginning until the last five minutes or something like that so I'm thinking Chris's is a true story by the way I know this is the the remake is the true canon story I guess I could put it but I don't have a recorder for that so let's get to it Chris Alpha Team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle Chris, of our mission. You found it? No, I haven't found it yet. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. Bravo team went to the hideout of the group and disappeared. Look, Chris! It was Bravo team's helicopter. Nobody was in it. But strangely, most of the equipment was still there. However, we soon discovered why. three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Jill, and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Chris Redfield. Jill Valentine. Barry Burton. I 
I don't know what happened. Barry, where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No. What is that? I'll go and check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the hall in case of an emergency. Chris? Take care. And through this door, we are now in the game. Alright, so let me just get one little thing out of the way. One, well, I've already said one. Um, this game, uh, this Let's Play, I've already recorded about two and a half hours, but because of corruption and, not corruption, yeah, one of the files being corrupted, I'm redoing it. So, yeah. Oh, also, up ahead, the one, the, the scene that shocked just about every single person that has ever played this game. And here we have the very first zombie in the game, which I'm going to run away from because there's no point killing him right now or at all. Okay, so now that I've seen that the zombie did something, I'm going to go report it to Captain Wesker. Wesker? Jill? Hmm, where could they be? Also, what's this? It's Jill's gun. But why would she leave it? Odd. Well, I guess I have to start exploring this place and look for them now. As well as Barry and... Well, that's it. Just look for all three of those guys. And wait for, uh... For the guy in the helicopter to come back. Okay, well I see that little scroll thing up there. I'm gonna I want it. It's a map of the first floor. Will you take it? Yeah. Alright. Oh, hi there. Are you dead? Well, I don't want to find out. Alright, let's see. It's locked. The carving of a sword. Hmm. I wonder if that means anything. Alright, let's head on over this way. Locked. Carving of an armor. Well, I guess every single door here is locked. I'm gonna check upstairs. I don't want to go back to that hallway where I saw that first monster. Let's check over this way. Oh goody, this door is unlocked. Alright, let's push this thing over because I see something blue on top of it. Good thing is the zombie can't get me from here. Bad thing is that zombie from behind me can. Uh, no, go away. Nope, I'm not even gonna try actually. Run around them and have them turn around. 
Oh, they're still following that way. Come on, push it over. Okay, well, now that I did that, I'm gonna have to deal with these guys. But, I don't wanna... Dang it, I missed. Don't wanna deal with this one right here. Oh, he's gone. Okay, I don't care about that one. Let's go through this one door. It's a nice mansion, I'll give it that. Oh geez, more of them. Oh, these ones puke. Locked, carving of a helmet. Numeric key panel. Hmm. Oh well, I guess this way's not an option. Let's go down. Oh, hi, more of them. be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca, Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer. I just joined the Stars Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry. Are you all right? Yes. I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha team. Are you the only person here from the Bravo team? Well, because the helicopter made a forced landing, I just ran into this house anyway, but I, uh... I see. There's nothing else you could have done anyway. It's good you're here. Yes, sir. But it's strange. I serviced the helicopter recently, but something went wrong with the engine. It was such a short flight. All right, so here we are introduced to Rebecca. Now, her story is actually explained in uh, Resident Evil Zero, which I will not be Let's Playing anytime soon because I don't have a screen, uh, what was it called? Uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, screen recorder, I'm gonna put it that way. I know that's not what it's called. But yeah, her story is explained in Zero. See, I saw something shining over here. Ooh, a key, a mansion key. The sword key. Awesome. All right. Well, what should I do now? If you go out to search for the other members, how about letting me come with you? Will I take Rebecca with me? Well, seeing as I've already checked both options, they both go, they both do lead to the same choice. I'm just gonna put yes. All right, let's do it. Yes, sir. I'll do my best. I have to prepare something. Would you like to go ahead? All right. So yeah, putting both options leads to Rebecca saying that. So now that I have the sword key, I'm gonna dodge around this zombie and that zombie. Uh, what's here? Locked. Carving of an armor. All right, then let's go here. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I have used a sword key. Good. Get in there. Right away, I see handgun ammo. Uh, looks like nothing in the back. Book over here. Huh. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Run, Chris. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Oh, okay, he's dead now. Alright, let's grab this. Yes, I'll take the shells. No, not check. I don't want to check the handgun. I already know it's Jill's. Keeper's Diary. May 9th, 1998. At night, we played poker with Scott the guard, Elias, and Steve the researcher. Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th. Today, a, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. It looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed them live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. May 11th. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. No, now you're a douche. May 13th. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back and the doctor told me I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. He's doomed. May 14th. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying, and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the higher-ups find out. May 15th. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time, but I was stopped by a guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't, I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from, the ma from this mansion was shot last night. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the swelling on my arm, a lump of rotten flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? May 19th. Fever gone, but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy, scratchy, scratchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so kill them. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. Keeper's diary has been filed. Well, now we know that guy went. Uh, now we know how the effects of the this virus happened, or not the not the effects. The um, I guess that's how I can leave it for now while I think of the right word. Symptoms. Okay, he's dead. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about those guys. It was just this one that worried me because I feel like I'm, I'm gonna have to be traveling through this hallway pretty often. Okay, so I unlocked this door. Now I'm gonna come over here. It's locked from inside, okay. You have used the sword key. Alright. Let's push this thing out of the way. Come on. I said push it. And I got the music notes. All right. Let's play the piano. A fine grand piano. Oh, okay. Let's check this then. The title is Moonlight Sonata. Can I open it? No. Then let's use it. Chris unfortunately can't read music. <laughs> 